welcome to my abacus english tutorial we are doing multiplication on the abacus this is technique number six and in today's technique i'm going to mix up two techniques technique number three how to deal with zero if you have in your question and how to borrow bits to place answer this is technique number five so this is a little bit tricky so hope i can explain so today's question is 95 multiply 7 8 0 so let's do this question first in our normally style and in normally style we write like this 7 8 0 nine five and five zero zero five eights are 40 right zero here and four here seven fives are or five sevens are 35 plus four 39 and second nine zero is zero nine eights are 72 right down to here and seven here and nine sevens are 63 plus 7 answer is 70 and your answer is 0 0 9 to 11 here 1 and 4 and 7 so let's do this same question on the abacus in normal style we start uh Multiply from the back side lowest place, but in Bacchus techniques, we start from the biggest place. So we have to start 9 to 7, 1, and 9 to 8, 2, and 9 to 0, 3. This is first group, and in second group, 5 to 7, this is 4, and 5 to 8, this is five and five to zero this is six so write down here nine sevens are 63 this is first group nine eight are 72 and nine zero equal to zero and this is second group is Five sevens are thirty five, five eights are forty, and five zero equal to zero. So let's place this uh, answer on the abacus. This is a little bit tricky, so please, uh, please concentrate. Okay. So you, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five digits in our equation. Means you have to take from fifth rod. This is my marked rod. One, two, three, four, five, and start from this rod and place answer from this first group. Sixty-three nine sevens are sixty-three. Six, six is in tens position. Three is in ones position. So six goes. To this rod and three goes to this rod we place this answer please change your pointed rod next is uh, nine eights are 72 so seven in this rod two in this rod so look here we have only five and one equal to six so we don't have seven in this rod to place seven first you have to reduce three here from the same rod and borrow this one so this is how to borrow 10 for the addition and subtraction. Please check that episode. Uh, without that technique, you don't understand how, how it happened here. Okay. So we place 7 here and 2 in this rod. We place 72. It's change your rod. And 9, 0 is 0. So we don't need to place anything. So just leave that. And we finish this first group. And for the second group, you have to count one more time. So we finish this 9. And now we have only four digits in our equation. So start one, two, three, four, this rod. This is a one style to understand. And the second style is first time you started from 10,000 rod. And second time, just move one rod down and start from the 1,000 rod. Okay. So this is two way how uh, you uh, are going to understand. So let's play second group. 
five seven five sevens are 35 so three here and five here so this one is five and we place this answer ten zero point eight rod and five eights are 44 in this rod zero in this rod we have only two in this rod but we have to place four in this rod we don't have beads so we have to borrow this one and to place four in this rod i'm going to reduce six first here and going to borrow this one and this is how to borrow 10 for the addition and subtraction once again and please have to watch that episode okay and zero is zero you don't need to move anything and you place this one and move your pointed rod and last one is five zero is zero so once again you don't need to place anything just move your pointed rod and look uh we came to this uh, marked rod this is my marked rod i started from here means we finished and now you have your answer on the abacus and your answer is seven four one zero zero let's check seven four one zero zero how do you like this if you like this please like share and one notifications of my videos subscribe my channel and almost we are uh, going to finish the multiplication technique so please be with me uh, after finished all techniques about multiplication i'm going to provide you lots of lots of exercises which will help you to understand these techniques of multiplication and after that we are going to start division so be with me see you again ta-ta